All right, let's build my brand new X-Wing. We got step one, step two, and step three. Wait, what? Hey, that's JB, Brick Fanatic here. This is another 2020 LEGO Star Wars set. This is 75273 Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter with 761 pieces. Front of the box, back of the box. If you guys do enjoy this video, hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into the review. Inside the box, you have six numbered bags, a binded instruction manual, and one very small sticker sheet. I will be building this at the end of this video, so if you want to watch the build, go ahead and stay toward the end or skip to the end. Let's get into the final product right now. And there we go, guys. We have finished the X-Wing. This took me a little under 50 minutes to build. I think 42 minutes it took me to build this. I was speed building it. It is late. It's like 11 o'clock or almost midnight now. And this is such a good set. Seriously, guys, it's worth the $90 price tag, I think is how much I paid for it. I'm not even sure. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I'm like, I need to buy this. And there's so many different things from these slopes to the minifigures that I just need to talk about. Let's start with the minifigures figures and get those out of the way and then we'll talk about the build. So let's start with the minifigures. Here is the first minifigure. This is R2-D2. This is the most standard R2-D2 that we have and we've had it for a long time. The legs can move and the head can turn by lifting it off and spinning it but it's just R2-D2. Everybody has one of these and it's R2-D2. Moving on to the second most uninteresting character in this, and this is going to be Commander Poe Dameron, or I don't even know his rank anymore after The Last Jedi, but this is Poe Dameron in his pilot outfit. Now he does have two faces as well as two headgears. You see he has his silver blaster there, some very nice printing all over. Everything connects very well. I think my waist printing is kind of off just a tiny bit but that's fine on the back. You have a little bit, you can see some stubble peeking out because he does have an alternate expression and that one's gonna be a little bit more happy and I guess determined. Now, as I said, Poe does actually come with a hairpiece so you can have him with his helmet off. Maybe you can have him carrying it, but it doesn't fit in there. You'd have to attach it with a stud and a brick, but this is a very nice Poe Dameron minifigure. There he is with the hair and the smiley face. I think he looks really, really nice. Let's move on to the next minifigure here is going to be a Knight of Ren. We don't have a name for this guy yet, and I love this figure. He comes with a silver blaster and also this little brick built weapon that has three pieces in it. You can see how that's built, but this minifigure is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. So look at all just the little details all over it. The stripes, just the different things, the belt underneath, everything. It just looks so nice. And then going around to the back, you can see there's more of that continuing all around. The entire body is dark gunmetal, except for the head, even the helmet. Now the helmet is especially cool. These are not actual grooves. This is printing. The grooves are up here. So right up here, these are actual grooves, whereas this is printing, but it flows so nicely together. And these helmeted pieces are so cool. Now there actually is, if you can see here, let me put Poe on so you can see it better. There actually is a line of sight and that lines up perfectly with the eyes. So this black underneath is actually the black head. As you can see, he just comes with a black head. There's zero printing on there, but I mean, look at that. So they actually went to the care to accurately put the eyes on there, even though there's no head underneath in this figure. Oops, bumped the camera. This figure is just all around awesome. I love it. It's super nice, very detailed. I love the colors and everything. It just all works together so well. Now the last figure here, and in my opinion, the best and maybe one of the best Star Wars minifigures ever. This is Janna and she comes with a bow and arrow. I'm gonna take this off. This is the bow and arrow piece. It's very standard, but look at this minifigure. Okay, the legs aren't printed, but honestly that is okay with me because the torso, arms, and head, and hair combo with the little visor thing is just incredible. Look at the torso. It's just a pretty standard torso. Uh, you got like this little thing. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's some sort of explosive device or just a belt buckle sort of thing. You have the sand blue continuing with the straps. Now this arm has nothing on it. However, this arm has a little thing that straps around and that is arm printing on a Star Wars minifigure. It's phenomenal. These, we don't get these very often, so this is awesome to get. It's just a really, really nice print. I don't know what that is or what it's for, but it's very welcome. Now moving to the back, you can see she does have a standard quiver. We're gonna take that off. 
Now with the quiver and hair off, you can see all that printing underneath and it looks very good. Again, it just continues all the way through. She does have the hip lines because she is a female in the film. And as you can see, there is an alternate expression. This is just a kind of happy and a calm face, whereas this is the more angry face. Now look at this hair piece. Seriously guys, look at this hair piece. This is phenomenal. Um, I just love it. It's super awesome. It is not dual molded. It's completely black, but it has that print on it with the red, the tan and red, and it just looks so good. This figure is incredible all the way around. This is probably my one of my favorites of the entire wave. I can't say enough good things about it, but let's jump into looking at the actual X-Wing. Taking a look at this X-Wing, it's awesome. It's phenomenal. It's awesome just all around awesome the sleekness of it the build it just looks so good looking at this pattern you can see this triangle of orange continues throughout the whole thing and then the rest is white with some of the blue stripes that go all the way through the build was very fun it came together pretty quickly as i said i was kind of speed building it so i could get this out so i can get some sleep i built it in under one hour under 50 minutes actually and it's it's really cool i just like it it looks it works so well um if you see all these things these are rubber bands and that is for the s foils or i think they're s foils is that what they're called x foils something but to put it in attack mode, you can see there is a little shaft here that kind of spins forward. If you push this forward, it does fly into attack mode. And this is such a good look, just it flying around. You can imagine you are in the movie with Poe Dameron in the cockpit and just whoosh it around. Now, the, the landing gear does retract up into the body, as you can see here. So it's not as noticeable. Now, you'll notice this little thing that's hanging down. And that is for when it lands, if you're accidentally in this mode. It will close itself because you don't want to have to have these things like kind of bending on each other and pushing on this little mechanism. Now, how the mechanism works, it's very simple. Just on the inside here with this crank, it just spins that thing and just kind of pushes the Lego bricks out of the way. Now, these wings are extremely thin here and more thicker up top, but I'm totally okay with that. I'm sure it's pretty movie accurate. I just love the general shape of this entire build. I think it looks like an X-Wing. It looks iconically like an X-Wing. And let's get some of the nitty gritty details, some new parts, new colors and everything. Awesome. One of my favorite parts is going to be this intake here. These are so nice. And that is achieved by this brand new piece that I believe was designed probably for minions. That's my guess. Imagine this is a minions eyeball. We're probably gonna see this exact thing in a minion set, but this is just an awesome piece. It is the bridge between the small and the large curves and we're finally getting something that fits and it's just it's well worth it i have been waiting for a piece like this for so long i hope we get a plate in this size i think that will be very very nice but we finally got something with it i'm hoping with minions we'll get a lot of pieces like that but this just is so oh it's so cool it's so smooth how everything fits together now the wings do sag just a tiny bit but you know there's gravity on earth so that's to be expected we can take Poe Dameron and put him in the cockpit seat. We can set him right down on in there and close this up no problem. We can also take R2-D2 and stick him right in there as well. He can man the guns or whatever is he's manning. He's fixing something. If, if the ship is starting to blow up, he can stop it from blowing up somehow. That doesn't make sense, but it, it works. On the back of the ship, you can see all these little details. There's just a bunch of little things. It's a spinny thing. It does use these pieces, which I have not actually held in my hand before. Let me see if I can grab one off. It uses this new triangle piece. It's not very new, it's just newer. I think it first came out with the Unikitty sets from the TV show, I'm pretty sure. But there's that. There's a bunch of new colors, I think, for for orange, but also for this azure. I think it's like bright or dark azure, just all these different pieces. It looks so good. I love the color scheme. You got one more sticker up here, including these two stickers that are on these places on both sides, and then there's that one. So there's only three stickers in this set. Now flying in, into attack mode, you can see there's a spring-loaded shooter here. You push this up and it fires. I think I already fired this one. You launch it just like that, and then you can reload it by sticking it in. Just imagine this is the other side. So I'll have to spin it around. You stick it in there, clip it, and then it shoots. And you can just have this thing flying around and it's so cool and you can pop it closed. Whoa, how did I do that? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just pop it closed. You can either control it like this or just, you know, 
fling it closed like that. The rubber bands are very well hidden. You don't really see it when it's open all that much. Now you can see them, but I choose not to focus in on that so I don't you know get mad that it looks like that but yeah this is a very nice x-wing it did come with a teal brick separator which is nice and also a small little build to get into the cockpit this is a very standard build you can either have it as a ladder or a launching guide if you remember the older studios spider-man sets <laughs> you can fling minifigures just like that or you can have poe dameron get out of his x-wing and climb down so he can save the day or he can receive his medal once he saved the day Taking a look at the magazine, you can see that this makes complete sense. However, this does not. You're supposed to start with it built, and then you're supposed to remove the piece, but then it's supposed to be back on. So there's a little mistake that I did find in this build. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more reviews and more stuff like this from me, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. We're nearing a thousand subscribers. I think we're almost a hundred away. I really appreciate all the support that's been going on and I love these new pieces. We get eight of them in the set. It's awesome. I want to figure out I want to build a minion before Lego releases them so I can say they copied me. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.